Hello, everybody. I kind of misunderstood this. I thought there were going to be about 15 or 20 people. <laughs> and we were going to work on a couple of songs together, like I do with my a cappella group at home. But I guess that won't be the case. And we'll start with Cotton Fields, I think. And the procedure will be that he plays a verse, just so we get the um, picture of the song. Uh, what tempo do you like to do it at? A bit slower. A bit slower, okay. <laughs> Sorry. A bit of a speed freak up on stage here. <laughs> Go ahead, yes. Oh, uh, hold, hold on, hold on a second. Uh, I'm going to switch my mic off when I'm actually singing because I don't particularly want to be the lead singer here. <laughs> In fact, I'd be quite happy if you didn't hear me at all, really. <laughs> so, so this will only come on during, in the interlude between songs. Okay. That was quite good. <laughs> Could be a bit louder, though. <laughs> and a bit faster. And a bit faster. <laughs> when we do this in my a cappella group, we go, When I was a little bitty baby, my mama used to rock me in the cradle. Like that. Um, okay, so now let's go to I'll Fly Away, which is the second song here. The, the, something about this song that I like is when you sing the words in the morning like a robot. So what key are we doing this in? So, in the morning, you know, like, like take as much emotion out of it as you can. <laughs> Most of these are religious songs, and since we're probably nearly all atheists here, it's rather odd. <laughs> um, God got all the good songs, and we <laughs> even though we don't believe in him. Okay.
such a nice song. When we, usually when we do that in the singing group, we start it very slowly and then double the tempo halfway through. <laughs> it's all about speed, where I come from, you know. <laughs> we don't do this ambient singing that you're doing here. <laughs> Um, so I wonder what we should, which one we should do next. So I have a little group of about, well, maximum 15 people. Um, it's a different group of people sometimes week by week, but we have a few regulars. And um, none of them, well, except for another one, are musicians. They're lawyers and professionals and boxers and people like that, and uh, we, none of us read music, which is always a great help if you're trying to make music. Um, sorry about that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. seems to me that the best music comes from people who don't have scores in front of them. Um, but we, we meet every Tuesday evening, and we're convinced that singing makes us not only better human beings, but much more sexy as human beings as well. And this is definitely true. I mean, it's provably the case, as you can see from... <laughs> <laughs> um, OK, let's, let's go now to S Can't Help Falling in Love, which is a song recorded and made famous by Elvis Presley, but is actually an old German it's an old German song, isn't it? Yeah.
wonderful enthusiasm you have. <laughs> I remember I did something in Iceland once and I was asked, I, th I needed a couple of volunteers to come on stage to sing a song with me. And you know, if you, in England, if you say, could I have a couple of volunteers, everybody immediately <laughs> looks at their feet or suddenly has something else to think about. No, nobody will make eye contact with you. But in Iceland, I said, would anyone like to volunteer? And the whole audience came onto the, st <laughs> came onto the stage. There was nobody left out there any longer. <laughs> but anyway, it's very nice to see this enthusiasm for singing and lack of embarrassment about it. No, I mean, I, don't, I didn't mean that in any... <laughs> I, had, <laughs> I had no agenda for saying that. <laughs> If anyone should be embarrassed, it's me. <laughs> um, I gave my love a cherry. Now, I, I usually do this in sort of a triplet time. We could do that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three. I gave my love a cherry. Like that. Does, does, everybody, does anybody know the song, anyway? Yeah, it's not, it's not a very common one. Uh, do you think I'm making it more complicated by doing it in triplets? I, I can play through it. This is, this is some crap American pop stars version. <laughs> the original song says, I gave my love a ring which had no end. Which is so nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then it goes, how can there be a ring which has no end? Um, a ring when it's a rolling, it has no end. But maybe I should stick to the text here, otherwise we'll get very confused. Won't we? <laughs> yeah, just, let's just sing it like it is here. I didn't actually mean to leave my mic on then, I'm sorry. Um, uh, which didn't we do yet? Early one morning. Does anyone know this? Now, this is a very strange version of it here because actually every verse should end with, oh, don't deceive me, oh, never leave me, how could you use a poor maiden so? So, Mm. What we're going to do, we're going to take, sing the first verse as it is, then we're going to do remember the vows, blah, 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 
but only the first two lines, and then, oh, don't deceive me, oh, never, that should come at the end of every verse, actually. And so, so verse three is, gay is the garland and fresh are the roses I've culled from the garden to pine over thee. That's the speed we sing it at. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can play that. That's because we're a go-ahead industrial <laughs> nation, you see. <laughs> Rocketing out of the European <laughs> Union <laughs> into some graveyard in the mid-Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we now do the Scandinavian version? Slower. Slower. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's some lovely harmony parts to this. I wish, I wish we had time to just work on a bit of harmony. Because basically we're singing in unison, aren't we? But of course these are all songs that um, are very easy to harmonize. Because they just use the same few chords. Shall we try? Okay. Um, like, for instance, the, oh, don't deceive me, another nice line is, oh, don't deceive me, oh, never leave me. That's, that's one nice harmony. harmony. <laughs> oh, oh, don't deceive me, oh, never leave me. That's the lower harmony. Well, let's... Um, Let's have a go, Let's do it a little bit slower and we'll see if we can harmonize, especially on, that, on the chorus, the oh, don't deceive me part. You're going to do a little yeah, first yeah. intro verse first. <laughs> Oh, never leave me. 
And there's one above that as well, but I can't sing it. <laughs> oh, don't deceive me, oh, devil. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Let me ruin your day for you. <laughs> um, okay. Verst, 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 verst. very, very well on the harmonies there. Especially somewhere over here, there was someone singing that high line beautifully. Um, that's it, now we, as I said, I'm, this calling my children home is kind of a difficult song to do. I, does anybody know it here? It's, it's by um, Ralph Stanley who just died about four weeks ago. That was why I thought it would be nice to include this. He, he, I, I could try. The, the thing is, the um, do, do you know the chords? Yeah. Can you play it without putting any weird chords in? Yeah, I can do it. Just two chords. Just two chords. It's, it's just two chords. Yeah. This is the beauty of this song. It's only two chords. Yeah. And they, they shift their position in the bar, in the song, in very odd ways. Um, what, chord, what key are you in? Those lives were mine. None of those fancy chords. No, no suspended chords, no sixth, just straight majors. Straight majors. Now, I'll tell you why that's important, because if you put the other chords in, it actually makes the melody a bit hard to do. Um, well, I'll try singing it. It might be in a slightly embarrassing key for me here. So, so if I suddenly clutch my testicles, that's because <laughs> I'm trying to reach a high note. <laughs> Those lives were mine. Uh, that's, that might be better, actually. So, so you know that the, the third stanza is different from the other two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, this is, this is a bit um, like watching sausages being made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try singing a verse, but I, in fact, I'll do the first three verses because the third verse and the sixth verse are a different form from the other ones, so. Nothing fancy, no? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, when there's a chord change, I'll do that, okay? okay. There's only two chords, so if I do that, it means you go to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Those lives were mine to love and cherish, to guard and guide. Gu guide, change on the guide. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, this is this is going to be hard. Let me, uh, somebody knows this song. You lied. 
back in the years we're all together around the place we'd romp and play so lonely now and oftentimes wonder Lonesome for my precious children. They live so far, so far away. Oh, may they hear my calling and come back home some sweet day. I gave my Brave life storm, defy the tempest to bring them home from anywhere. I live my life, my love I gave them to guide them through this world of strife. I I'm lonesome for my precious children. They live so far, so far away. Oh, may they hear my calling and come back home some sweet day. That chorus again. I'm lonesome for my precious children. They live so far, so far away. Oh, may they hear my calling and come back home some sweet day. That got really good at the end. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure singing with you.